Each year, three million visitors come to discover the medieval city of Carcassonne in the heart of the Cathar region. Catharism was a middle-aged sect which flourished in this area and has left a lasting imprint. We head first of all to the south of the region, to the heart of the Pyrenees Mountains. Perched high up here sits the Monsigur Castle. To reach the top of this medieval site, you have to walk for 30 minutes up a very steep path. You have to earn it. Monsigur stands at an altitude of 1,207 meters. <laughs> Fabrice Chambon has been admiring these remains for over 16 years. We're at the entrance of the site, and behind me you can see one of the outer walls from the Cathar era. The terraces we see here are the remains of the houses of the Cathars. It was here that the Cathars lived from 1204 to 1244. In their religion, all of the material world was created by evil. The archaeological finds on show at the village museum help us to better understand how people lived back in the 13th century. Here we have a beautiful oil lamp. Down here we have fragments of knife blades. These two skeletons are a man and a woman, found 24 meters deep. They were both killed either with an arrow or a bolt from a crossbow. Many Cathars were killed during the fall of Monsegur in 1244, after 10 long months of siege at the hands of the Crusaders. They were under papal orders to do away with those they considered to be heretics. We know that there used to be a stable right here. There are still remnants of the first floor and a few lines of the flooring. It was at this level that the soldiers lived. It's very bizarre to say, but while we come to Monsegur today to understand the Cathars, the ruins you see are those of the victors, the Crusaders. After the defeat of the Cathars, the Crusaders moved in. The Cathar village was razed to the ground and over the years, the castle was eventually abandoned. The demise of the Cathars is a story that's often retold in the little village of Villerouge Tremaine. Every year, 10,000 people come to wander through its castle. It was here that the last Cathar Parfait met his death, heralding the end of Catharism. These Parfaits were the religious guides of the Christian movement. Here, the last Cathar Parfait, a man named Guillaume Bellibast, was burnt to death on the orders of the Archbishop of Narbonne. He was brought to the stake and asked if he would renounce his Cathar faith. And the proof, of course, is that he didn't, because he was burnt to death. Victims of this Inquisition, the Cathars could easily have been erased from the history books. But thanks to the inhabitants of this region, their memory has been preserved over the centuries. Talleyrand is a small village of just 400 people in the heart of wine-growing country. Here, the heritage of the Cathars is celebrated. For 10 years, the villagers have been battling to ensure that the little chapel of Notre Dame de l'Air doesn't fall into ruin and they've got their work cut out. Maybe we should redo this. Look how it's crumbling. I think it can simply be done with a wire brush. We're in the heart of the Cathar country because, above all, the Cathar country is about men. And these chapels were their stop-off points. Not all of them were believers, but all of them wanted these chapels to be maintained to be kept alive and to become our landmarks in this Corbière region. 
This building is the jewel of the village, with its three altars dating back to the 14th century. There are dozens of chapels just like this one dotted all over the region. And while the Cathars may be long gone, the region remains steeped in religious history and mythology. Some say that the treasure of the Knights Templar is buried deep somewhere in these hills.